This church steeple in New London, Connecticut, had developed a lean since it was built in 1853. It collapsed on January 25, 2024, destroying much of the roof in the process. The lean was initially slight, but recently it began to lean a lot more. What was the timeline of the tilt, and what did the collapse look like? This is a quick response video to let you know what I've discovered and to pinpoint the point of failure. I am Mike. I'm an architect with a strong interest in structures and a lot of experience working with structure engineers. I like to use video footage to reconstruct failures in 3D models. There is this video of the collapse captured from a security camera. With careful frame-by-frame -frame alignment, it was possible to animate the motion of the failure of the structure to provide deeper insight into what went wrong. The church was built in 1853 and was a historic landmark. The steeple was 150 feet high, or 46 meters. It had stone all the way to the top. Quite often the last portion was made from timber structure and is more like a steep roof. But in this case it was an all stone spire which represented a significant structural load right to the top of the structure. In 1851 the architect was so concerned about the steeple that he said the only solution was for the general contractor to have it rebuilt. This is an extreme position for an architect to take, meaning either he had witnessed some very troubling defects in the construction or the tower was already leaning or both. Photographs of the structure don't reveal anything clearing, but where the roof joins the back side of the tower, there does seem to be visible damage. There seems to be a distinct sag in the center portion of the roof in this area over here. And there is also a some visible damage above the flashing this point. And the damage seems unchanged across the various timestamps available. On the other side, there doesn't seem to be the droop um, or, the, or the damage to the masonry even though this seems to be the corner that was probably most compromised. But this is pretty much where, to me, it looks like the, the failure actually happened in this area here, or particularly on the back face. Erosion of the mortar in the stonework can compromise the structural integrity. Google Maps 3D feature is a fantastic resource. There's, there's some remarkable computer power that goes into generating these 3D maps. The model is approximated, and this becomes particularly obvious when you view from a low level. Nevertheless, it provides extremely valuable information, as I will show you. I grab parts of the model and import them into my 3D software, where I can manipulate it further. I use Blender for my animations, and in this analysis. I traced a wireframe over the steeple to, to analyze the, the tilt. From this, I've measured a one degree tilt in the steeple. The ball right at the top is about 22 inches or half a meter off the vertical. To double check, I also underlaid this image behind the model. It reveals the same one degree incline as Google Maps. Image is dated 2014. It's uncertain when the Google Maps model was generated, but I presume it was a few years ago. From this, we can assume the change of the tilt had been minimal for a very long time. To understand the collapse, we can divide the steeple into three sections. There's the base, which appears to have been stable and, and vertical. And there's the bell room and the clock tower. And in the top is the conical section. The tilt starts at this point here at the apex of the roof. The 3D model is vertical from this point downwards. The midsection had something wrong with the, with the masonry. This was where we saw the roof sagging and the damage to the flashing. The side above the main door was solid. The in, inside face was weak. The differential strength is what created the lean. Workmen working on the parking garage had been noticing recently that the steeple had been moving and leaning more and more. The lean of the tower had been a topic of discussion locally. It is unclear if the church had taken any action or what they were aware of. The CCTV footage was recorded from this camera attached to the learning center. 
even though it only captures a part of the scene, it is still very useful. The tilt and motion of the steeple is matched to the movement shown in the video. This way, the 3D model is a good representation of the actual collapse. The security footage confirms that the tilt at the time of the collapse had grown to a very precarious 6 degrees. I don't have access to the earlier video footage, but I assume this extreme tilt had happened in the final minutes. This tilt would accelerate at an exponential rate. The final lean must have happened quite fast because this angle of lean would have been impossible to ignore if you'd looked up. With such an excessive lean, the weight of the steeple had shifted and almost all the bearing was on the weakened inside wall. The bearing capacity was exceeded and all the heavy stone masonry came tumbling down, smashing through the roof. As the lower tower hit the earth and slowed its fall, the shock snapped off the top piece of the spire. It fell separately for the last bit. The stones at the base of the tower were directed in the opposite direction and this rubble fell towards the front and down the entry steps. From the wreckage, it is clear that the tower fell slightly asymmetrically towards the west wall. This is how the steeple looks, perfectly straight. And this is with the, t the one degree tilt, which is very subtle, but still significant. There was a large increase in tilt up to the start of the security footage. And I'm curious to know who would, have, who would have seen this and how long it was at this angle. And presumably it was only for a few minutes. But if anybody did see it leaning at the last moments, I would be very interested to hear in the comments and how long that was before they the actual collapse. This was likely some localized defect in the construction of the tower that even the architect picked up on that was a very slow ticking time bomb. Quite notably, the shorter towers on either side did not collapse. This shows most of the stonework was very strong and stable. There was a localized portion of precarious construction. There was no strong wind at the time. The damage became too severe and at 1.30 on Thursday, January 25 was when it all came tumbling down. It's a problem when building owners cannot perform proper inspections and maintain a structure properly. Historic buildings are expensive to look after. A woman was in the building, but thankfully she escaped unharmed. The demolition of the standing portion is already far advanced and mostly completed. I hope you learned something and have a better understanding of the demise of this historic church.